Welcome to this week's episode of Trojan Poetry. This week I've chosen the poem. Mike has not read it. Uh, this one is called Double Dutch by Gregory Pardlow. Here we go. The girls turning double dutch bob and weave like boxers pulling punches, shadowing each other, sparring across the slack cord casting parabolas in the air. They whip quick as an infant's pulse, and the jumper, before she enters the winking, nods in time as if she has a notion to share, waiting her chance to speak. But she's anticipating the upbeat like a band leader counting off the tune they are about to swing into. The jumper stair steps into midair as if she's jumping rope in low gravity, training for a lunar mission. Airborne a moment long enough to fit a second thought in. She looks caught in the mouth bones of a fish as she flutter floats into motion, like a figure in a stack of time-lapse photos thumbed alive. Once inside, the bells tied to her shoestrings rouse the gods who've lain in the dust since the Dutch acquired Manhattan. How she dances patterns like a dust-heavy bee retracing its travels in scale before the hive, how the whole stunning contraption of girl and rope slaps and scoops like a paddle boat. Her misted skin arranges the light with each adjustment and flex. Now heather-hued, now sheen, light listing on the fulcrum of a wrist, and the bare-jutted joints of elbow and knee, and the faceted surfaces of muscle, surfaces fracturing and reforming like a sun-tickled sleeve of running water. She makes jewelry of herself and garlands the ground with shadows. Okay, I think I read that pretty poorly. I could not <laughs> figure out the rhythm. Yeah. And I admit that, so I apologize if I've missed... That's a poem about double dutch, John. I know, on, and I kept gotta, thinking, like, why am I not able to figure out the... You gotta like boxers, right? right? Come on. Stay tuned after this for a video of us double dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Please. No, you don't, you don't want to see that. No, all right. So Gregory Pardlow was born in 1968. He grew up in New Jersey, and in 2014, he won the Pulitzer Prize for his book, Digest. Um, and I picked this. I just think it's awesome. Uh, the idea of the little girls, because Double Dutch is cool, right? Like when you watch yeah. that, that's impressive. I yeah. mean, I could never do that. Um, but then he turns it into all of these images relating it to other things, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to explain what Double Dutch is, he has to talk about um, being a band leader. He has to talk about uh, fish. He has to talk about... Uh, lunar missions. He has to talk about time lapse photos. He has to talk about the old Dutch that acquired Manhattan. Right, like in order for him to describe the double Dutch girls, he has to talk about so many things, mm -hmm. which takes those little girls and just expands them and says like, that is like a rich, cool, complex thing. Mm -hmm. Right, and I just love that idea of. The, you know, because it begins the girls turning double dutch, and it's like, no, but they're like boxers, and they're doing this, and they're doing this, and they're doing this, and um, just how powerful that is. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I just think it's it's taking something every day and making it epic, you know, I mean, and this yeah. is just image, just thought candy, you know, laid against each other. This guy is a master of, this, of similes, you know, yeah. like boxers pulling punches, shadowing each other. I mean, his similes go on and on, like a band leader counting off. Um, like a figure in a stack of time-lapse photos, you know. Quick as an infant's pulse. Yes, I mean, I mean how cool is that? <laughs> uh, and there was one other one that I really liked on the back, like a dust-heavy bee retracing its travels in scale before the hive. I mean, yeah. it's like, you know, most people who've watched little girls, little kids doing double dutch, you don't think on this level. And so here's this poet sitting yeah. there watching this everyday moment that a lot of us have seen over and over again, and he takes it and transforms it into something something just yeah. amazing. And I love and the, the sound imagery, the bells tied to their shoestrings rouse the gods who've lain in the dust since the Dutch acquired Manhattan, right? right. Like, it becomes the, a, she's a shaman. She's, yeah. she's raising yeah. these, you know, raising the dead almost by yeah. doing this double Dutch dance. It's like yeah. a rain dance. And, uh, you know, the whole stunning contraption of girl and rope. I think that sums <laughs> right. it up. He's looking at this and he's yeah. like in awe, you know, like, wow, how is this happening? How is no one else feeling the way that I feel? Right. I want you to see what I saw when I saw these girls doing double dutch because it really is hard. I remember trying to do it a couple times on the playground growing up and it, yeah. it was like epic <laughs> failure. Me as the white boy that both I am. Legs. Yeah, right. <laughs> and sing the song and yeah. get the rhythm. Even just jumping in and getting the rhythm. Right. And he, he captures that perfectly where... Um, She's anticipating the upbeat, 
like right. a band leader, right? I mean, yeah, this is a she, master. She nods in time right. as if she has a notion to share, right? Like mm -hmm. she's thinking something like, I agree, mm -hmm. I agree, it's positive, and then boom, she jumps in. Mm -hmm. And then just the ending, I, the last two lines are, are a sentence. She makes jewelry of herself and garlands the ground with shadows. That idea of making jewelry of yourself, like, yeah. I don't know. That's just, She's like sparkling, she's yeah. shining, yeah. and then she garlands the ground with shadows. So yeah. her movements are even cool to look at yeah. and watch. Just like when she's raising the gods out of the ground. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't think there's too much more to say just to how beautiful it is and how yeah. incredibly powerful. You know, I mean, again, something so small and turning it into, like you said, this epic uh, experience yeah. that and brings in so many... Yeah, well, sorry, I'm kind of speechless <laughs> at this point. Right, I mean, right. I, I think it's just, yeah, a, an amazing... That's, that's what makes poetry so cool sometimes is it takes something so so everyday and so commonplace and it transforms it. You know, which is exactly what he's done here. And we, we actually look at a lot of poems for this, right? And like, we'll spend hours looking for poems. And this one just instantly, I was like, oh, okay. Done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm in. Yeah, I got to share um, this one. Yeah, so uh, very cool. Maybe check out some more Gregory Pardlow poems. Uh, thanks for watching. Please join the conversation in the comments on YouTube or on Twitter at Trojan Poetry DGN. Also, check out our website at Trojan Poetry DGN.blogspot.com. Mm -hmm.